Another one that says he made a public display. Okay. Having cancelled and blotted out and wiped away the handwriting of the note, the bond, with its legal decrees and demands, which was in force and stood against us, hostile to us, this note with its regulations, decrees, demands, he set aside and cleared completely out of our way by lending it to his cross. God disarmed principalities' powers that were ranged against us and made a bold display and a public example of them in triumphing, not that term, triumphing over them in him and in it the cross. You understand? So here's the question that I've always had. Jesus, when he died at the cross, he declared it is finished. Okay? This scripture tells me that as far as demonic work is concerned, God triumphed over it all. See Now, what is spiritual warfare about if God had finished? Jesus declares that the cross it is finished. Okay. So what do prayer warriors do? <laughs> no, I just want to understand. Worry. Huh? They pray fervently, but are we all supposed to pray fervently? Okay. So what is this spiritual warfare about? First, God has defeated them. Correct? Jesus himself said, I've given you power to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. That was even before he died. So, question. What is spiritual warfare? What is this thing that people say, you know, in a fight, this is spiritual? What do we mean? Huh? I guess, I mean, it's our turn to, to, to do what Jesus... Um, it's our turn? To follow in, in Jesus' feet. So the spiritual warfare is about us now. Okay. And uh, our lack of faith, unbelief. Um, I guess, I mean, yeah, so we, it's us who need to learn what, yeah, that, what, what Jesus did and, and end up like him. Exactly. You're actually very right. Now go to Ephesians, the scripture that we like. Okay? Ephesians chapter 6. We like the scripture, see you? Alright? In conclusion, be strong in the Lord. Be empowered through your union with Him. Draw your strength from Him, that strength which is which, which is boundless might provides. Put on God's whole armor, the armor of a heavy armed soldier which God supplies, that you may be able to successfully do what? Stand up. Stand up against all the strategies and the deceits of the devil. Remember, it is strategies and Deceits. Please mark those words. Eh? Very important. Okay. For we are not wrestling with flesh and blood. Okay. Contending only with physical opponents, but against despotisms. Number one, against powers, against master spirits who are the world rulers of this present darkness. Remember the darkness. All right. Against the spirit forces of wickedness in the heavenly, quote unquote, supernatural sphere. Therefore, put on complete armor that you may be able to resist and stand your ground on the evil day of danger. And having done all the crisis demands, to stand firmly in your place. Stand therefore, hold your ground, having tightened the belt of truth around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of integrity and moral rectitude, the right standing with God. Continue. And having showed your feet in preparation to face the enemy with a firm footed stability the promptness and the readiness produced by the good news of the gospel. Lift up over all the covering shield of saving faith, upon which you can quench the fanning missiles of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword that the Spirit wields, which is the word of God. Pray at all times, on every occasion, in every season, in the Spirit with all manner of prayer and entreaty. To that end, keep alert and watch with strong purpose and perseverance 
interceding in behalf of all the saints, God consecrated people. Okay? Let me ask you a question. Have you noticed that entire scripture, after you put on the armor, there's nothing it tells you to do other than stand? Isn't that strange? So the question is, what is spiritual warfare? I'm just joking your brains, okay? Let's go to Isaiah 54, 16. Sorry, Adam, I know I never arrange my verses in order. After that, we'll go to Romans 8. <laughs> okay. <coughs> says something very strange eh? and I want you to read it that's why I want it to show me it's there. it's there okay behold this is God speaking behold I have created the smith who blows on the fire of coals and who produces a weapon for its purpose and I've created the devastator to destroy pause who created the devil? God. The devil did backslide. Jesus called him a liar from the beginning. He was created that way. This is the first point of spiritual warfare we must understand. Now, God is the one who created him. And he created him for the purpose of creating a weapon against you. Okay? So what is the devil always doing? He's always creating a weapon against? <laughs> okay? That is why it is useless to go binding him. He's doing his purpose. Leave him alone. <laughs> but no weapon that is formed against you shall? And every time, he said, He's talking about weapons. But he says, every time that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall show to be in the wrong. This peace, righteousness, security, triumph over opposition is the heritage of the saints of the Lord. Those in whom the ideal servant of the Lord is reproduced. This is the righteousness of the vindication which they obtain from me. This is, this is that which I impart to them in their justification says the Lord. Now, let's define a few things. Spiritual warfare is not uh, tearing the kingdom of the enemy down. Spiritual warfare is building up the kingdom of God. That kingdom crumbles by itself. Understand? We have no business. Right? Now I want you to look at this scripture. And it says, Every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment. A lot of the time, when you're in a car and the car is about to hit you, what you declare? No weapon found against me shall prosper. The car is not the right one. Sometimes when you're broke and you don't have any money, you declare, no weapon formed against me shall. Your brokenness is not the weapon. So what is the weapon? It's not even the poverty. <laughs> Your mind. Not. What the weapon is, if you go to Romans 8, and I'm taking my time because I have to undo a lot of code that you have eh? Because every time you hear spiritual warfare, the first thing you hear in your mind is Shaitani Hashimu. Correct? Um, Romans chapter 8. We're good? 
Now, I should go through these verses slowly, okay? Because this is the most accurate understanding of spiritual warfare that there is, okay? And those whom he does for a day, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And quitted the righteous, putting them in right standing with himself. Remember that other scripture? This is the heritage of the saints, the ones who have right standing with him, okay? And those whom he justified, he also glorified, raising them to a heavenly dignity and condition of state of being. So that he do, he gave you power over all the works of the enemy. Okay? I'm collecting scriptures so that it makes sense. Okay? What then shall we say to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? Okay? Who can be our foe if God is on our side? He who did not withhold or spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, we need not also freely give, freely and graciously give us all other things. Continue. Who shall bring any charge, any time that rises up against you in, condemn, in condemnation? You shall prove to be wrong. <laughs> okay? Any charge against God's elect, when it is God who justifies, that is, who puts us in right relation to himself. Who shall come forward and accuse or impeach those whom God has chosen? Will God who acquits us, who is there to condemn us? Will Jesus the Messiah who died, or rather who was raised from the dead, who is, the, who is at the right hand of the Father, pleading as he intercedes for us. Who shall ever separate us from Christ's love shall suffering and affliction and tribulation or calamity and distress or persecution or hunger or destitution or peril or the sword. Remember, these are all the physical attacks the enemy has. That's it. Doesn't have anything else. Next verse. Even as it is written, 